Glory, glory, glory to the King of kings. Glory, glory, glory to the King of kings. Lord, we lift up your name with hearts full of praise. Be exalted, O Lord our God. Glory to the King of kings. And we'll sing again. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Lord, we lift up your name with hearts full of praise. Be exalted, O Lord our God. Hosanna in the highest. Glory, glory, glory to the King of kings. Glory, glory, glory to the King of kings. Lord, we lift up your name with hearts full of praise. Be exalted, O Lord our God. Glory to the King of kings. If you're a family, a First Holy Communion family, there are pews reserved at the front for you. So do come on forward um, and fill the pews at the front. Absolutely. Well done. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. No. No, I, th I think um, we'll be okay. Don't worry. They can. Yeah. Caroline, okay, yes, if you wish you want to transfer to that would be great. Hello everybody, it's really wonderful to have you up here, thank you so much, we've managed to make it up in one piece. Um, if there are any um, smaller children who are um, getting um, to the point, hello Ben, where they get to the point where they, we've got some more chairs coming out, where they'd like to play with some toys, there are some toys in the tower room which you're welcome to go and play with, and also Tessa has... Um, in fact, Nikki has some colouring things which you're welcome to use as well. And we're now going to sing our final processional hymn, Make Way, Make Way for Christ the King. Make way, make way for Christ the King in glory arrives. Fling wide the gates and welcome him into your lives. Make way, make way for the King of Kings. Hello. Oh, you don't have your shoes. Where's your mummy? Oh, they're so dirty. Are you going to go and find mummy? The prisoner to free. The deaf shall hear, the lame shall dance, the blind shall see. Make way, make way for the King of Kings. Make way, make way. What do you want, Henry? Why can't you go and sit with Mummy? Come on, come. Come and sit with Mummy. Where's Mummy? For him, their thrones must fall. Make way, make way for the.
the King of Kings. Make way, make way, and let his kingdom in. We gather in the presence of God who loves us. Let us call to mind our sins and ask for God's forgiveness. Jesus, enter Jerusalem in humility. Forgive us our pride. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Jesus, enter Jerusalem to do your will. Forgive our failure to obey you. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. The crowds hailed Jesus as king. Forgive our silence. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the God of love bring us back to himself. Forgive us our sins and assure us of his eternal love in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Jesus, true and humble King, you were greeted by the crowds with palm branches. Grant us the faith to know you and love you, that we may be found beside you on the way of the cross, which is the path of glory. Amen. The children's choir are now going to come and sing. I think there's a couple of shoes which need to go on. I'm going to help out with that. Are you okay? So I'm going to invite the children's choir up with Tessa, and they're going to sing. Could everybody else can sit for the moment? The children's choir are going to come up and sing as we welcome the gospel reading.
And I think Mackenzie is now going to come and read the gospel for us. And so we stand as we hear the gospel read. Glory to you, O Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Thank you, Mackenzie. Please have a seat. Now, at, at, there is an amazing, um, an amazing wall, an amazing display at Ludovic and Leopold and Imogen's school in Mero, where they've got lots of celebrities who've got something special about them, which lots of people don't really know. Who can tell me who this celebrity is? Can you tell me who this is? Do you know who that is? I know you know Ludo because you told me. <laughs> Does anyone know who that is? Yeah? It's Hermione Granger. Do you know the name of the actress, that play, the actor that plays Hermione Granger? Anyone know? Emma Watson. There we go. Emma Watson's on the wall. Um, and there's something special about Emma Watson that people don't know about. Here we go. I've got another person here. Who's this? Yes. It's Harry Potter. Who plays Harry Potter? Does anyone know the name of the actor that plays Harry Potter? Do you know? Daniel Radcliffe. There we go. Well done. Well done. You know, you knew as well, didn't you? There's something special about Harry Potter. And there's lots of other celebrities on this wall. Imogen, do you know what's special about Harry Potter and Hermione Granger? Apart from the fact they're in Harry Potter. Do you want me to say? So, Emma Watson has something called ADHD. Um, and Daniel Radcliffe has something called dyspraxia. Um, and all of the celebrities, all of the famous people on this amazing display at Ludovic and Leopold School, here we go, I'm going to turn this around and I'm going to put them on here. All of this, I don't have to hold them up constantly. All of these celebrities have a special educational need. It might be dyslexia or dyscalculia or dyspraxia or ADHD or something like that. And they have gone on to do amazing things. They've surprised people with how fantastic they've gone on to be. All of the difficulties they had with reading, people believed in them and they believed in themselves and they went on to do amazing things. And that often happens, doesn't it, that we're surprised at what people can do. Even if things seem difficult for them, human beings, that's you and me, we can go on to do amazing things if someone believes in us and if we believe in ourselves. Now Jesus, in the reading that we've just heard, he surprised the people who he was speaking to, uh, who, the people who welcomed him. They shouted out and they waved their palm branches Hosanna to the son of David. Hosanna to the true king. And they put palm branches on the ground. Well done for actually making it up the path while singing. I got a bit out of breath while doing it. And well done for getting to church in one piece. Um, they were shouting and they were singing, Blessed is the king who comes in the name of the Lord. They thought that Jesus was a king 
who was going to come and fight a battle. Because in their country, there were some people called the Romans. Who knows about the Romans? The Romans had taken over most of the world. And they had taken over Israel and the capital city, Jerusalem. And people didn't like that. And so when people were saying to Jesus, Hosanna to the son of David, blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord, they were saying, Jesus, we're on your side. We know you're going to have a big fight, a big battle with the Romans. And here's your army. And we're going to be the ones who are by your side in the battle. But Jesus surprised them because he didn't go and fight with the Romans. What he did was he went to the temple, like a really big church. He went to the temple and rather than telling off the Romans, he started telling off the very people who just welcomed him into Jerusalem, the religious people, the good people, the courageous people. He said to them, look at what you've done to the temple. This is a place for people to pray, but you've turned it into a den of thieves. And then he started telling all sorts of strange stories about how, how they were like a fig tree which didn't have any fruit on it. What's the point of a fig tree without any fruit? Nothing really. Um, so there we go. He started telling all sorts of stories. He started telling off, not the Romans, but the religious people. People like, people like me. Dear me. No wonder that after a few days of this, the religious people, rather than saying, Hosanna to the son of David, they were shouting out something very different. They were shouting out, crucify him. We don't want him anymore. Get rid of him. That's why Holy Week took this very hard and horrible turn where Jesus ended up dying. Jesus surprised those people by saying, rather than judging other people, think about yourself. Rather than thinking that the problem is somebody else, start thinking about you and your relationship with God. And he came to teach us a better way of loving God and loving God's people and loving other people. That's what Jesus did. He surprises us by saying we should all have a think about ourselves and think about how we do at loving God and loving others. And we do that, we make space for Jesus to surprise us by doing things like coming to church and listening to the Bible and also by coming to Holy Communion. We've got some wonderful children today who've been on a journey preparing to receive Holy Communion, preparing to receive Jesus through the bread and wine of Holy Communion for the first time today. And they've learned how incredibly special it is to receive Jesus in the bread and the wine of Holy Communion. It's an incredible privilege. And by doing that, we open our hands and we say to God, God, we don't have anything. Please give us your life. We don't have anything to bring to you. Please give us your life. That's what we're asking when we come to Holy Communion. Now, you might be somebody who's received Holy Communion lots if you're a grown-up, but I have a challenge for you today. These wonderful children are going to be receiving it for the first time, and they're going to be doing so with joy and expectation and thankfulness. I'm going to ask all of you who've received Holy Communion lots to try and receive Holy Communion today as if it were your first time receiving Holy Communion, as if it were the first time that you've done it and all of God's promises were opening up before you. Try and be like our wonderful first Holy Communicants today who are receiving Communion for the very first time. Amen. Bye-bye, Daniel and Emma. There we go. So I'll put them just... I'll put them over here. Yeah, put them out of the way. I'm now going to invite the children who are about to make their first Holy Communion to come forward to the chancel step. And we're all going to stand in support of them if we're able to. Oh, bless you, Ben. He just wants to join in with everything, doesn't he? It's absolutely fine. It's absolutely fine. And so we're going to pray for the children who are about to receive their first Holy Communion. Father, we pray for Josh, Skyler, Molly, 
for Eva, Ella, Amelia, for Imogen, have I got everyone? And for Teddy. Is that everyone that I've named? Marvellous. We pray for you all that you may continue to grow in the grace of Christ. Take your place among the company of God's people and reflect God's glory in the world. Amen. And so I'm going to... Come on, Ben. Go with Daddy. There we go. Good boy. I present to you these children who have affirmed their baptismal faith. Will you welcome them and uphold them in their new life in Christ? And we say together, with the help of God, we will. Josh, Skyler, Molly, Teddy, Imogen, uh, Amelia, Eva, Ella. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, God's Son? I do. I'm going to say I do three times. Do you trust in him as your Lord? I do. Do you want to receive the life of Jesus in Holy Communion? And so we're going to declare together, I should have got you to bring up an order of service. Could we borrow some orders of service? I think I've got a spare one here. We're going to declare together our faith in God. There we go. You might need to share. If you can read, brilliant. If not, don't worry. And so all of us together, congregation and children, will declare together our faith in God. We believe in God the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named. We believe in God the Son, who lives in our hearts through faith and fills us with his love. We believe in God the Holy Spirit, who strengthens us with power from on high. We believe in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. There is one Lord, one faith, one baptism. By one Spirit, we were all baptized into one body. We welcome you into the fellowship of the faith. We are children of the same Heavenly Father. We welcome you. We are all one in Christ Jesus. We belong to him through faith, heirs of the promise of the spirit of peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And so we offer one another a sign of God's peace. And can I be the first to say, peace be with you. You can go and see your families and say, peace be with you to them. Peace be with you. Peace be with you, Teddy. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Do you want to? There we go. Peace be with you. Thank you. Okay, I've got, I've got my hand. Oh, thank you very much. There is an order of service here. Someone gave theirs away. There we go. Peace be with you, Reed. Peace be with you, Sebastian. Peace be with you all. I'm not going to try and make it around everybody today. We're now going to sit or kneel as we pray to Almighty God. Let us pray. Teddy, what number are you?
hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. Hear our friend. Accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. And we're now going to stand and sing our offertory hymn From Heaven You Came, Helpless Babe. that speak of sacrifice, hands that flung stars into space, to cruel nails surround. Mighty God, be pleased to receive this offering to the praise and glory of God, through Jesus our Lord. 
the servant king. He calls us now to follow him, to bring our lives as a daily offering of worship to the servant king. So let us learn how to serve and in our lives enthrone him, each other's needs to prefer. For it is Christ we're serving, this is our God, the servant king. He calls us now to follow him, to bring our lives as a daily offering of worship to the servant king. Jesus, true vine and bread of heaven, ever giving yourself that the world might live, make us perfect in your love. Amen. And so we sit or kneel as we give thanks to God for his life shared with us in Jesus. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to praise you, Father, Lord of all creation. In your love you made us for yourself. When we turned away, you did not reject us, but came to meet us in your Son. You embraced us as your children and welcomed us to sit and eat with you. In Christ, you shared our life that we might live in him and he in us. He opened his arms of love upon the cross and made for all the perfect sacrifice for sin. On the night he was betrayed at supper with his friends, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread and gave it to them, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Father, we do this in remembrance of him. His body is the bread of life. The end of supper, taking the cup of wine, he gave you thanks and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. Father, we do this in remembrance of him. His blood is shed for all. As we proclaim his death and celebrate his rising in glory, send your Holy Spirit that this bread and this wine may be to us the body and blood of your dear Son. As we eat and drink these holy gifts, make us one in Christ our Lord. With the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, St. Peter, St. Paul, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we offer you this sacrifice of praise and lift our voice to join the eternal song of heaven. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna at the highest. Standing at the foot of the cross, let us pray in the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Every time we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, bearer of our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, Redeemer of the world, grant us your peace. Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. God's holy gifts for God's holy people. Jesus Christ is holy. Jesus Christ is Lord. To the glory of God the Father. All are welcome to receive God's gifts from this altar. Um, we receive from the chancel step, and a sight person will indicate for you to come forward at the appropriate time. But the first people to receive their Holy Communion today are going to be the children who are making their first Holy Communion. So if I could invite you to come to the chancel step, please.
Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Are you going to go to Daddy? <laughs> Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The body and blood of Christ. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The body and blood of Christ. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. communion there. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The body and blood of Christ. So may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. 
Faithful God, may we who have received your gifts given to us by Jesus, the humble King, follow him and proclaim him as Lord, now and forever. Amen. Well, thank you so much again for coming to our, um, our special Palm Sunday Eucharist with First Holy Communions today. And I just thought we should probably say a huge well done to all those who've received their First Holy Communion today. Let's give them a round of applause. Now, when I process out at the end with my two boys slash altar servers, if the children who've received their first Holy Communion could come with me, I've got something for you. So please come with me outside and we'll say a prayer together and I'll give you something very special. Um, please do stay behind um, after the service for um, refreshments. It would be wonderful to have you stay behind. Um, we've got tea and coffee that are being served, but please try and, once you've received tea and coffee, find somewhere possibly even outside if it's dry, <laughs> to go and have a, have a sip, because there's rather a lot of us here, and that's a very wonderful thing. Um, there are lots of notices to um, share with you, but they're in the weekly news sheet, which you should have view of, um, so I'm not going to recite them all, except to say that on Saturday, we have our special messy church um, for Holy Saturday in East Clandon Village Hall, to which you'd be very welcome. Um, Tessa who's just standing there. If you want to let someone know that you'd like to come, Tessa, hello there, Harry. Tessa is the person to let know. Oh, there we go, you've got some toys. Excellent. Um, Tessa is the person to let know. I have one final notice to give, and that is to publish the bands of marriage between Kirsty Helen Moss, single of the parish of St. Peter's Belfields, with a qualifying connection to this parish, and Andrew James Paul Errington, also single of the parish of St. Peter's Belfields. This is for the second time of asking. If any of you know any reason in law why they may not marry each other, you are to declare it. Silence. Good news, Kirsty. <laughs> um, Kirsty has very kindly been taken. When the children were receiving their first Holy Communion, Kirsty took a snap of them. Um, so, parents, we've got a wonderful snap of you, which, uh, of your child, which we're going to share with you for um, uh, of their first Holy Communion. But thank you, Kirsty, for doing that. I'm glad that your bands have been read without hitch. <laughs> We're now going to stand to sing our final hymn, Christ Triumphant, Ever Reigning, Saviour, Master, King. Christ Triumphant, Ever reigning, Saviour, Master, King. Yours the glory and the crown, the high renown, the eternal. truth revealing yours the glory and the crown the high renown the eternal name so servant, scorned, ill-treated, victim crucified. Is through the cross defeated, sinners justified. Yours the glory and the crown, the high renown, the eternal name. Priestly King, enthroned forever, high in heaven above. Sin and death and hell shall never 
stifle hymns of love. Yours the glory and the crown, the high renown, the eternal name. So our hearts and voices raising through the ages long, Ceaselessly upon you gazing, this shall be our song. Yours the glory and the crown, the high renown, the eternal name. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God who so loved the world that he gave his only Son, strengthen you to serve him in the world. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you now and forever. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. you go out first, followed by Ruth. Thank you, Ruth. Let us pray. Our hands together. Lord Jesus, we thank you for being with us today. Stay with us for all our days, we pray, that we might serve you and love you and love others in your name. Amen. Right, I have got for you something very special. I've got a card, and I've also got your first Holy Communion certificate. So, Amelia, there you go. You're first up. There you go. Eva. Go, that's for you. Ella. That's all right. You can go once you've got them, you can go back to your families. Molly. There we go. Imogen. Imogen, there we go. You can go back to your mum and dad. Skylar. There we go. Happy first Holy Communion. Josh. Happy first Holy Communion. Oakley, not here. And last, but by no means least, Teddy, happy First Holy Communion. Thank you so much. It's been great to see you. Thank you. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Oh, I'll send him an email. Yeah. Well, thank you. Looking forward to it? Thank you so much. It's great to see you. Thank you. Hopefully you had a good time. She got a bit muddy. I'm so sorry. I think we all got a bit muddy. <laughs> it's good to see you. See you later. It's great to see you. Thank you for everything. See you soon. Thank you. Thank you ever so much. Lovely to see you. Thank you. Where is your brother? No, not. Ludo, can you come around here, please, and go into mummy? You don't have one of those, no. Thank you. It's good to see you. Thank you. Thanks so much. Ludo, can you go into mummy? Thank you. It's good to see you. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Good to see you. Thanks. God bless you. Thank you. Lovely to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good to see you. Thanks ever so much. Bye bye. It's great to see you. Thank you so much. Ben. Ben, come here. You got, you got him. Well done. It's good to see you. Happy Palm Sunday. Great to see you. Thank you so much. There we go. Morton's first Palm Sunday. I'm working on him. Good for you. It's good to see you. James, wait for mum. I oh, forgot to mention that. It's in the week finished. Thank 
you. Good to see you. Thank you. Have a fantastic day. Who are you supporting today? Marvellous. Oh, it's wonderful to have you here. Thank you so much. God bless you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Lovely to see you. Thank you so much. See you soon. Okay. See you soon. Vanessa, lovely to see you. Thank you for coming. Well, no, don't worry about it. He's a kid. He loves the church. I don't mind. myself a big drink now. <laughs> it's good to see you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Do you need a hand getting up there, Kirsty? Are you okay? Kirsty, thank you. You are fantastic. Don't worry. They'll be lovely. Thank you. It's great to see you. Have a fantastic day. Josh, see you soon. Bye, Skyler. Thank you. Is that okay? Thank you. Thank you. See you, Morton. Oh, it's very tired. I, I might, I've got, the kids are going to be playing football, so I'm going to go on, I'm so sorry. That's all right, sure, but if you change your mind. Thank yeah. you, it's very kind. See you soon, it's good to see you. It was, it was wonderful, wasn't it? And marvellous children, absolutely marvellous. It's really good to see you, all the best, God bless you. Have a lovely day. Hello, I'm Not, It's really lovely to meet you. Thank you, and wonderful to meet you. I can, I can see the family likeness, actually. It's, yeah. Nice to meet you, Megan, God bless you. Thank you. It was, it was good, wasn't it? Oh, thank you. It's good to see you. God bless you. Bye-bye. Thank you, Barnaby. Thank you. Thank you so much. And you, thank you so much. You were awesome. Do you like that board at school? I think that's an amazing idea, having those photos. So cool. No, I do remember. You remember now? It's okay. There we go. Who isn't in church, honestly? It's good to see you. It's great to see you. God bless you. Thank you, Barnaby. Thank you so much. Oh, it was marvellous. I had a great time. Good to see you. See you soon. Bye-bye. Lovely to see you. God bless you. Bye-bye. Thank you.